Hi there. My name is Kurt and this is one of my fun quizzes, number 264. If you want to take part, it's old school pen, pencil, paper. Scribble your answers. Hey, that's it. OK, I'll give you all the questions first and all the answers will come at the end. The quiz itself will take just over 30 minutes. So good luck and enjoy. This particular quiz, we have six rounds with eight questions in each round. And your rounds are food and drink, movies, a connection as always, children's stories, Sweden, and again, as always, some pictures to finish off with. So if you're ready, let's make a start. Round one, food and drink, question one. What is the name of the Asian dish of deep fried pastry triangles with a savoury filling of meat or vegetables? I love these. What is the name of the Asian dish of deep fried pastry triangles with a savoury filling of meat or vegetables? Number two. What does the word spumante mean on a bottle of wine? What word, uh, sorry, what does the word spumante mean on a bottle of wine? On to question three. Which strong smelling herb that tastes like aniseed is a common ingredient in Italian sausages and meatballs? Which strong smelling herb that tastes of aniseed is a common ingredient in Italian sausages and meatballs? <clears throat> Number four. What or which weak acid is found in oranges, lemons and limes? Which weak acid is found in oranges, lemons and limes? That is question number four. Question number five. Which food might an American call a weenie? Which food might an American name a weenie or call a weenie? Question six. The luxury dish carpet bag steak consists of fillet steak stuffed with what? The luxury dish carpet bag steak consists of fillet steak stuffed with what? I've never had this. Have you? Not a steak lover anyway. OK, question seven. What was the first foodstuff sold in an aerosol can? Ooh. <clears throat> what was the first foodstuff sold in an aerosol can? And question eight, which beer was marketed as the cream of Manchester in a popular advertising campaign during the 1990s? So which beer was marketed as the cream of Manchester in a popular advertising campaign during the 1990s? I remember it well. Moving on to round two, a movie round. OK, question number one. Which 1984 film starring John Hurt was cleverly dubbed the film of the year? Which 1984 film starring John Hurt was cleverly dubbed the film of the year? Question two. In which 1981 film did Sylvester Stallone play in goal while Pelly and Michael Caine were on the pitch? 
In which 1981 film did Sylvester Stallone play in goal while Pelly and Michael Caine were on the pitch? That's a good one, isn't it? That's a good one. Question three. Who plays the male and female lead in the 1998 film You've Got Mail? I'll give you one point for each. So who plays the male and female lead in the 1998 film You've Got Mail? Two points up for grabs. Question four. Michael Douglas had an affair with which actress in the 1987 film Fatal Attraction? Mm -hmm. Michael Douglas had an affair with which actress in the 1987 film Fatal Attraction? Came back to bite him. Question five. What was the only James Bond film in which George Lazenby appeared as 007? What was the only James Bond film in which George Lazenby appeared as 007? Number six, who played the President of the United States in the 1997 film Air Force One? So who played the President of the United States in the 1997 film Air Force One? On to number seven. Ooh, who was paid $12 million for her role in the 1996 film Striptease? Made the headlines at the time. A lot of money. Who was paid $12 million for her role in the 1996 film Striptease? And question eight. In which 1980 film did Goldie Horn join the army? In which 1980 film did Goldie Horn join the army? Moving on then, round three is a connection round. What connects all the answers in this round? Good luck. Question one. What W are you said to give if you make a promise or assurance to someone? What W are you said to give if you make a promise or assurance to someone? Nice and easy, I hope. Number two, what C is a box containing 12 bottles of wine or champagne sold as a unit? So what C is a box containing 12 bottles of wine or champagne sold as a unit? Number three, what B? is a small group of musicians and vocalists who play pop, jazz or rock music. So what B is a small group of musicians and vocalists who play pop, jazz or rock music. They can play other music. That's just giving you a taster of what they play. Number four, regarding Christianity and according to the idiom, which M are you going to meet when you die? Regarding Christianity and according to the idiom, which M are you going to meet when you die? Never overthink my questions, especially in a connection round. Question five, what S is part of a bra which helps to keep it in place? What S is part of a bra which helps to keep it in place? 
Once you get a connection in this round, just check back through your answers. Make sure they all fit that connection. Maximum points, that's what we want. Question six, what T is a tall, narrow building, either freestanding or forming part of a building such as a church or castle? So what T is a tall, narrow building, either freestanding or forming part of a building such as a church or castle? If you've got this one, have you got a connection yet? Question seven, what animal does the word canine refer to? So what animal does the word canine refer to? And if you haven't had your connection already, hopefully this will give it to you. Because question eight is what connects the answers? For questions one to seven. I hope you've got a connection. I'm sure you've got a connection. But is it right? Well, we'll find out later. For now, let's crack on. Round four. Children's stories. Here we go. Question one. In Snow White, which of the seven dwarves is the only one without a beard? Yes, yeah, six have a beard and one doesn't. In Snow White, which of the seven dwarves is the only one without a beard? Have you ever noticed? One of those good quiz questions. Moving on around the uh, round, question two. In the story of the three little pigs, what is the first house made of that the big bad wolf blows down? So in the story of the three little pigs, what is the first house made of that the big bad wolf blows down? Nasty wolf. Hey, what did the pigs ever do to him? Question three. In the story of Goldilocks, whose porridge does she eat first? In the story of Goldilocks, whose porridge does uh, not first? Sorry, whose porridge does she eat? Not first. <laughs> Ignore that. Whose porridge does she eat? Question four. In which story is there a talking cricket? In which children's story is there a talking cricket? Question five, fee fi fo fum, I smell the blood of an Englishman, is a line from what story? Fee fi fo fum, I smell the blood of an Englishman, is a line from which story? Question six, who is imprisoned in a tower and lets down her long hair for her lover to climb up to her. So question six, who is imprisoned in a tower and lets down her long hair for her lover to climb up to her? Question number seven, what is the surname of the family that takes in Paddington Bear? You'll know this if you're a Paddington fan. New Paddington Bear film coming to cinemas shortly. Paddington Bear 3. But what is the surname of the family that takes in Paddington Bear? And question eight. In the story of Cinderella, who is her father? In the story of Cinderella, who is her father? There you go, that's your last question in children's stories. You'll be glad to know. So we'll move on to round five. And round five 
is all about Sweden. So question number one. Which popular cider comes from Sweden? Which popular cider comes from Sweden? Question two. Which Swedish company is now the world's largest furniture retailer? Nice easy one this one. Which Swedish company is now the world's largest furniture retailer? Question three. What is the only major car manufacturer in Sweden? What is the only major car manufacturer in Sweden? Question number four. What is the currency used in Sweden? What is the currency that is used in Sweden? Never been to Sweden on my bucket list. I will get there one day. On to question five. Sweden's coastline lies on what body of water? Ooh. So Sweden's coastline lies on what body of water? Question number six. What two colours make up the Swedish national flag? What two colours make up the Swedish national flag? Nice and easy. Easy if you know it. On to question seven. How many countries does Sweden share a land border with? Is it one, two or four? How well do you know your map of Scandinavia? How many countries does Sweden share a land border with? One, two or four? Choice of three, if you're not quite sure. Moving on to question eight. What is the capital city of Sweden? So your final question in this round, question eight, what is the capital city of Sweden? I'm sure you know this one. Okay, your final round as always, some pictures. So picture number one, can you name this movie? So from this picture, can you name the movie? Question two, what country has this national flag? What country has this national flag? <clears throat> Moving on to number three, which TV series is this from? Which TV series is this from? This iconic vehicle. Number four, what is this a close-up of? What 
What is this a close up of? Question five. Which TV series is this from? Again, another iconic vehicle. But which TV series is it from? Question six. Can you name the TV series? So question six, can you name the TV series from this picture? Sure you can. Question seven, what company is this the logo for? What company is this the logo for? And finally, question eight, what is this advertising? Do you remember this advert and similar ones like it? But what is this picture advertising? That is it, that's your last picture, your last question. So. I hope you've managed to answer everything, even if you've had to put in a guess. Never, ha never hurts to guess. So, shall we uh, go through the answers? Put you out your misery, see how you've done? Okay, then, let's do just that. We start off with round one, food and drink. So, question number one was, what is the name of the Asian dish of deep fried pasty triangles with a savoury filling of meat or vegetables? It's a samosa. Mm. Question two, what does the word spumante mean on a bottle of wine? It means sparkling. <coughs> Excuse me. Number three, which strong smelling herb that tastes of aniseed is a common ingredient in Italian sausages and meatballs? That is fennel. Number four, which weak acid is found in oranges, lemons and limes? Citric acid is found. Number five, which food might an American name a weenie? Either a sausage or a hot dog. Either one. I'll give you either one. Number six, the luxury dish carpet bag steak consists of fillet steak stuffed with oysters. Yeah, very luxury. Number seven, what was the first food stuff sold in an aerosol can? It was whipped cream, yeah, it wasn't cheese, it was whipped cream. Number eight, which beer was marketed as the cream of Manchester in a popular advertising campaign during the 1990s? It was Boddington's. Good old Boddington's. On to round two then, your movie quiz. Question one, which 1984 film starring John Hurt was cleverly dubbed the film of the year? Well, it had to be 1984. <laughs> Question two, in which 1981 film did Sylvester Stallone play in goal while Pelly and Michael Caine were on the pitch? It was Escape to Victory. Number three, who plays the male and female lead in the 1998 film You've Got Male? So for one point each, it was Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan. Well done if you got both. Number four, Michael Douglas had an affair with which actress in the 1987 film Fatal Attraction? It was the bunny boiler played by Glenn Close. Number five, what was the only James Bond film in which George Lazenby appeared as 007 on Her Majesty's Secret Service? Number six, who played the President of the United States in the 1997 film Air Force One? It was played by Harrison Ford. Number seven, 
who was paid $12 million for her role in the 1996 film Striptease. It was Demi Moore. Yeah. And number eight, in which 1980 film did Goldie Hoyne, Goldie Hoyne, Goldie Horn join the army? It was Private Benjamin. Okay, moving on. Your connection round. How did we get on? Question one. What W are you said to give if you make a promise or assurance to someone you give your word? Number two. What C is a box containing 12 bottles of wine or champagne sold as a unit? It's a case, case of wine, case of champagne. Number three, what B is a small group of musicians and vocalists who play pop, jazz or rock music? It's a band. Number four, regarding Christianity and according to the idiom, which M are you going to meet when you die? You're going to meet your maker. Yeah. Number five, what S is a part of a bra which helps to keep it in place? Quite simply, the bra strap. Strap is what I'm after. And number six, what is uh, what T is a tall, narrow building, either freestanding or forming part of a building such as a church or castle? It's a tower. Number seven, what animal does the word canine refer to? It refers to a dog, of course. And number eight, what connects the answers for questions one to seven? The connection is watch. Yep, yeah, watch. I'm sure you've got that in the end. Well, then, if you did. Right, on to round four. Children's stories. Question one. In Snow White, which of the seven dwarves is the only one without a beard? It is Dopey. Number two. In the story of the three little pigs, what is the first house made of that the big bad wolf blows down? It's made of straw. Number three, in the story of Goldilocks, whose porridge does she eat? She eats baby bear's porridge. Number four, in which story is there a talking cricket? That would be Pinocchio, Jiminy Cricket. Number five, fee fi fo fum I smell the blood of an Englishman is a line from Jack and the Beanstalk. Number six, who is imprisoned in a tower and lets down her long hair for her lover to climb up to her? It is Rapunzel. Number seven, what is the surname of the family that takes in Paddington Bear? It's the Brown family, yeah, the Browns. And number eight, in the story of Cinderella, who is her father? It is Baron Hardup. Yeah, Baron Hardup. Okay, moving on to round five, Sweden. Question one, which popular cider comes from Sweden? It is Copperberg. Yeah, Copperberg cider. Number two, which Swedish company is now the world's largest furniture retailer? Well, it has to be IKEA, yeah, all over the world. Number three, who is the, oh, sorry, what is the only major car manufacturer in Sweden? It is Volvo. Yeah, they're the only one now. Number four, what is the currency that is used in Sweden? It is the krona, the Swedish krona. Number five, Sweden's coastline lies on what body of water? It lies on the Baltic Sea. Number six, what two colours make up the Swedish national flag? Blue and yellow, blue background, yellow cross. Number seven, how many countries does Sweden share a land border with? It shares it with two, Norway and Finland. And number eight, what is the capital city of Sweden? It is Stockholm, Stockholm. There you go. Right, and your final round, your pictures. Here we go, question one. Can you name this movie? It is Dumb and Dumber. Yep, yeah, Dumb and Dumber. Number two, what country has this national flag? Got to be Israel in the news at the moment, of course. 
Number three, which TV series is this from? The A-Team. Number four, what is this a close-up of? I'm sure you got it in the end. It's a pineapple. Yeah, the skin of a pineapple there. Number five, which TV series is this from? The old mystery machine from Scooby-Doo. Where are you, Scooby-Doo? Uh, number six, can you name the TV series Starsky and Hutch? That's, yeah. Uh, seven, what company is this the logo for? It is Texaco Oil and Petroleum Company. And at number eight, what is this advertising? It is advertising Dolmio, the source for pasta. Well, that's it. All your answers are in. Hey, how did you do? How did you do? I hope you've done well. I hope you're pleased with yourself. Uh, but more importantly, I hope you had a bit of fun doing the quiz. Anyway, that's it. Another quiz has flown. So thank you for joining me and for taking part. I do hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, have a go at another one. Got loads on YouTube and let others know. Yeah, share the love. And if you have any feedback for me, please let me know. But yeah, I will not keep you any longer. That is it. So for me, it just remains to say for now. Goodbye.